What is up, guys? So uh, I, I just, I just, I can't figure it out, and uh, I'm curious to know your opinions on why people hate this Metallica song so much. Now, my good, beautiful friend, Nihilist92, Jazz, I know you're not a fan of this one. Maybe you can chime in below in the comments and let us know why this song offends you so much. So the song I'm talking about is The Day That Never Comes um, from Death Magnetic. Uh, personally, I love the song. It's a, it's a beast of a song. It's a long one. It's got a lot going on. It's got some cool riffs and uh, live, Hetfield's voice, there's a show, I think it's 2010, <clears throat> where they play it and it's something about Hetfield's voice singing it and it just kind of really gives you the feels. Uh, so let's check it out, let's play that nice, awesome, clean riff from The Day That Never Comes. <laughs> Now, you didn't see, but that took quite a few takes because I haven't played that in a long time. Um, and it's, it's actually a clean riff that really fucks with me because it's a lot. You know, it's a lot. There's a lot. But it's so nice. It's got a nice flow. It's got a nice feel. Um, and although, like, the, the chorus riff, it's kind of, like, really simple and a bit boring. It's like the reverse. It's like it's like reverse fade to black or something. Um but overall, when it goes into the, the cool, kind of fast. Uh, it's just really cool. And I just, I've seen a lot of people giving it a lot of hate. Um, the album in general, people aren't a big fan of because of the production of it. Um, it wasn't done very well. Obviously, it was done for a reason. That's what they wanted. But people just weren't a fan. People are hard to please. But this song just seems to get a lot, a lot of hate. But I personally, I love it. It's a cool one to play. It's a cool one to listen to, especially live. Uh, cool music video out in the deserts and all the soldiers. They've they've tackled kind of subject of war and a few other songs in the past, um, like Disposable Heroes and then going forward to Confusion. It's been a topic that they've kind of touched on. Uh, but I don't know. I like it. I don't, I don't see... I mean, the worst part of the song is probably Kirk's input for the for the intro. <laughs> very very terrible <laughs> that's probably my only part of that song that i'm just not a fan of it's very very just bad um but overall it's just an awesome song and the, the clean parts in it are just great like the intro So that was hard for me to play because I broke my little finger once and it doesn't like to do what it's meant to. Uh, but really nice dreamy cleans as always from Metallica. Their clean riffs are always kind of really feely, especially like the, the verse one. With that open G, the open G. The motherfucker that never stays in tune but it seems to have such a huge effect. So why do people hate it so much? Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on The Day That Never Comes by Metallica from Death Magnetic. Uh, I love it. I'll give it a, a 7 out of 10. 
Kirk's bit in the intro knocks it down three points. <laughs> Guys, comment below. Let us know. Jazz, Nihilist92. Go check out his channel. Man's killing it. But chime in below. Let us know what is going on. We have a visitor. Uh, so guys, comment below. Uh, go check out some of the other videos. I'll link at the bottom. And rock out. Be awesome. And I'll see you in the next one. See ya. See ya. Hey. <laughs>